Okay, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time viewing, I hope you find the video useful in your designing process and helpful uh, in your uh, needs. Um, and if you're a return viewer, thank you so much for uh, watching the videos and subscribing and leaving comments and liking them. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. I can't tell you I'm really overwhelmed. Uh, but today, I thought I'd start a new playlist uh, and uh, want to talk about Clay U. Uh, start uh, introduction to Clay U and slowly move forward from there. Uh, so it's a very powerful tool and it can really help uh, adding things to design. So uh, we will talk about the uh, Rhinos uh, 3D, but everybody has Clay U, so I thought we'd start here. Uh, so first to activate your Clay U, you need to go to your uh, sub D menu and it will uh, welcome, just wait for it to load. And it's on and once you see your uh, clay you menu here pop up in your active window, uh, it will uh, be active and running. So uh, the first thing of course would be the primitives. That's kind of the basics of getting everything started. Uh, so we'll start there. Uh, so we'll look at each primitive and I'll explain some of the commands and stuff like that as we go through each primitive. Uh, so the first one would be our planar curve and you'll get your curve pop up and the box here and you can manipulate uh, the size of your box in uh, the X and Y uh, direction. Uh, so you can uh, make it larger, smaller, or w angled, or w whatever you need to do. Uh, and then also you can add a seg more segments into it. Uh, usually with clay you, the less segments the better, but depending on what you're doing uh, will dictate how many segments you're going to need, of course. Uh, but you can do those in the X and Y d direction as well. We'll put a little extra on there for uh, demonstration purposes. purposes. Uh, and then we'll just hit enter and we'll go to our shaded mode and uh, first command is uh, uh, basically the the whole object so if you click on it you'll select the whole object and it'll give you the arrow so you can move up and down left and right uh, back and forth whatever uh, so that's the first one there I'm not gonna go I'll, I'll explain as we go uh, so we'll just select that whole object and we'll delete it. Oh, we're not going to add another one. We want to uh, delete that. So, well, let's hit enter. Okay, and then we'll select that object and we'll delete it. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is our box mode. Again, uh, you have the ability to do the X, Y, and Z in this particular one in the box mode because it is a, a 3D item. Uh, and then also uh, doing the segments. This will be with all of them. And uh, I can't s tell if you can see, but uh, if when you when you're moving the segments around, if you drop them down too low, you could alter the box. Uh, but uh, that's kind of that. <laughs> so let's just keep moving forward. And right here we have the whole object. So if we select on it, we select the whole object. We can also select faces. So if you click on a face, now you can drag that out and alter it. And as you can tell, I'm in box mode. And there's two ways to uh, change it from box to smooth. Uh, as you can tell, it's really in a, a square shape. So that's why they call it the box mode, of course. Uh, you can go here and click on it, and it'll change it to the smooth shape. Uh, or you can just hit uh, your tab on your uh, keyboard and it'll change it to uh, box shape and smooth shape between the two. All right. So uh, let's go back to our select all and we'll just delete that one for right now and move on. Go to another primitive. We'll go to our sphere and again uh, you can now this is kind of interesting here. Let's go ahead and uh, make our perspective. If you look at the top there, we're in quad. You can change it to uh, a poly polygon, uh, which would put the triangles at the top. Uh, depending on what you're doing, uh, you know, would determine which one you need. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, make it bigger, smaller, of course, and you can add segments. Now this one will definitely, as you can tell, change the shape of it. So uh, depending on what you're doing, 
and again that'll change the shape on it as well so there's a lots of options here and we'll just go ahead and take that and we did our total mode and we did our face mode the, the other thing about the face mode is if you select one face hold down shift and double click the face next to it now you have uh, an entire loop of uh, edges that you can manipulate S and if you do it the other direction it's the same thing it's the entire loop going around to the bottom there and you can manipulate those and again hitting tab will change it to the box or smooth mode depending on what you're looking for now of course when it prints it'll be printing in the smooth mode so you always want to make sure that you uh, check that because that'll be the ultimate uh, end uh, look alright uh, and let's see okay you can also go to edges you can click on an edge and you're able to uh, manipulate that edge of course and uh, you're, you can also uh, hold down shift and double click it alright should be able to double click alright let's go back click on that edge and double hold down shift and double click the edge next to it and it'll select that entire edge and you're able to manipulate that edge right uh, let's see what else okay and also rotate uh, so this would be your uh, moving up and down left and right rotate of course would be rotating it uh, in all directions so you're able to rotate it around and uh, let's see you can do points as well so uh, and we'll go back to our uh, line there uh, and points and you can manipulate a certain point. Or you can uh, select all, like if I went to the, the front and I just select this whole line here and I went to my uh, rotate, you can rotate those. And then also you can scale them in and out in all directions. Of course up won't really do a whole lot. <laughs> so that's another uh, option. And you can uh, use the, the dots there for uh, 2D. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and s go back to select all. We'll select that one and we'll move on to the next one. Uh, the other one would be, oh this one's a good one, a cylinder and you can <coughs> again do the radius larger smaller height up and down uh, segments and it makes it a little bit bigger but if you go again uh, too small with the segments with the round you get uh, an off round shape of course so uh, keep that in mind and uh, adding segments to the Z and you can also uh, cap the top in a, a polygon or a uh, Negon, Negon, yeah. Uh, but let's leave that open, none there, and let's go ahead and cap that bottom. So we have the bottom, uh, and we'll hit OK. And uh, here, what you can do, you know, you have a little cylinder there. It looks like a cup. Well, let's make it to a cup. So you can go to Edit, and hit uh, where is that shell? select object that will be this object and we'll hit enter and now we have a cup that you can uh, keep manipulating make it thicker thinner whatever you want uh, and you can also we'll go ahead and hit enter here and then you can also go back to faces and select faces and we'll uh, we'll actually turn one into a cup in another time. We're, we won't do that today, but just showing different things. So edit shell, we'll put uh, make it closed, right? So we'll just keep moving on from here. Let's see what else do I got here. Uh, we'll take that. We'll delete it. Uh, we'll go to primitive and we'll go to torus. And now again, you can uh, change the size. Of course, those. Uh, 
we'll make smaller and you can make them thickness you can add segments and that kind of thing and we'll hit OK that's a pretty big o-ring <laughs> uh, but there's a lot you can do this is multi this will kind of give you uh, so when you let's see let's select on the edge uh, go to multi and it'll actually kind of give you all different uh, types of tools you can use uh, so multi well let's uh, select on faces click on this one double click we got that now we have uh, the multi command activated so you can and if you wanted to you can go to your 3d and kind of close it up do all kind of stuff with it all right so that is another one uh, and we'll keep moving forward uh, again this is just very very basic but we'll uh, introduce some other commands in there uh, and we'll go to uh, ellipsoid and again you can change uh, the the top uh, to a polygon or a quad and you can again change the, the directions in the X Y and Z so you can uh, get all kind of different shapes you can add segments uh, you really don't need this command because the segments are all the way around and we'll just go ahead and enter so there's a lot you can do here uh, s select on some of the we'll go to this here this one this one this one and just kind of drag it in a little bit so there's a lot of uh, manipulation you can do here right so uh, we'll just keep moving on again a uh, very basic uh, oh, okay wrong thing cancel uh, we'll go to the next one which would be ellipsoid oh we did ellipsoid so let's cancel that one we'll keep moving on ellipsoid a cone uh, the bottom of it will not be uh, uh, closed, um, but you can uh, width-wise, height-wise, segments, again, adding segments going around, and the Z direction, uh, and also you can cap it if you wanted to, okay? Uh, but we'll just take that and... Uh, Again, if you wanted to, you could uh, shell this. So if you just go to your edit, uh, you can shell. Select our object, this one, hit enter, and now it's shelled. So you can do all kind of more manipulation. Uh, let's select our edge curve here. Let's go to this edge here. Well, let's enter here. Let's accept that. Let's go to our edge curve. We'll select this edge, hold down shift, select these edge. And if you go to edit, they have a, a crease command. Where is it at? I keep, there it is, crease. And you can crease those to make them sharp, right? So there's, uh, that's another tool. So let's select that, select that edge, select this edge, and we'll just go back to that crease command, edit and crease and now we have that crease and we have it selected so you can manipulate it up and down as well all right uh, and let's do one more let's go to our scale let's select this one and the blue lines will say will let you know that there's a crease on there okay so let's select this one and we'll double click uh, select this one and double click so it gives me those edges and now we can bring them in so there's uh, all kind of really cool things you can do with this tool uh, and there's I mean a lot of things you can add to different styles you know that would make a nice little pearl you know holder pendant put some diamonds around it after you change it to nerbs uh, but let's keep moving forward and uh, I think uh, our last one here would be the, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, uh, truncated cone, I guess. Uh, and again, <coughs> uh, you can uh, size-wise, well, top radius, make it bigger, smaller, you can close it off. 
Uh, you can uh, do the bottom radius. You can do the height. Uh, you can change the segments, of course, and the Z segments. And of course, if you wanted to, you could use the polygon or uh, Nagon. Nagon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one either. Uh, but we'll uh, leave that uh, to none, and we'll just go ahead and select. And I'm not sure about this one, so let's try it. Let's do a shell on this. Let's select this and hit enter, and there you go. There's a nice little shell uh, that you can start, and we'll hit enter again to accept that. And then you can do uh, more manipulation. You can turn on points. Um, and again, if you use tab, it'll go to box or and then here we can click on that to keep the the cage edit so we can kind of see our points from different views uh, and then you can click on it again to smooth it off so the cage edit command uh, so this is kind of good for uh, selecting certain stuff uh, and then you can manipulate it how you see fit right and that's smooth mode go to box mode you know so you want to keep talk oh there's a little uh if we had that closed off it'd be a little pot and you could select that and uh put a little more onto it and then you could go to your uh, line curve select that let's get out of this and select that line there and you could go to your edit put a crease on it and now you have a little crease there that you could work with point command kind of bring that down a little and there you go you have a little if it's closed off you have a little pot there you know you can manipulate that however you want you can bring it down and you can put a handle on it uh, so there's a there's a lot here uh, and you know like I said we're just going to uh, do it slowly and uh, introduce new commands and stuff as we go uh, but that's all I just want to go over the primitives and the basic uh, commands here there is one other thing if you type in options oh we have to get out of uh, clay you here so we'll just close clay you abort command uh, clay U is turned off, so now if I type in options, Rhino options, uh, you can come down here to clay U, and you can uh, change the uh, items around here. We'll double click here, hotkeys. So it'll give you a list of the hotkeys that you can use, and the the ones that are uh, probably most prevalent are is the the Q, W, and E here, because you can quickly toggle between the modes and R. Uh, so that four right in a row uh, on the keyboard, uh, you can really uh, change between modes as you're moving along very quickly. Uh, so that will be it for this video. I hope it helps. Uh, a little introduction, and we're going to keep adding on to this. I, I'm not going to stop doing, uh, you know, Matrix uh, Gold videos. Uh, as far as uh, designing and stuff, but I, I, I do want to, I did want to get started uh, doing some of the clay use. So uh, I hope you find the vi video useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment, especially if you want to see more. If this is something you don't want to see, please <laughs> let me know. If you want to see more, uh, let me know that as well. A and we will, like I said, but. Clay U is a lot like Rhino uh, sub D, so these commands and the stuff that you'll learn with Clay U will be very useful for when you're using the Rhino sub D if you have uh, Rhino 6 or more. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, good designing, have a great day.